Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello there. Hello there. I'm going to be doing something really cool today. I've kind of dabbled in it a little bit. Past streams. But I'm going to be fully committing to it this stream. I'm going to review. I'm going to give it. I'm going to like a. I'm reviewing every single building in this game. Every single one. Except three because I've already reviewed three of them. But I'm gonna go between the buildings. I'm gonna review it, all the details about them: the ventilation, the roof, what, how the quality of the building. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Every single building, I'm gonna review every goddamn building until I have looked at every single building that is in this game. So that is what I'm gonna be doing today. And I know what building I'm going to start with. It's going to be the one that's right next to the one that I did before. So we're going to get a helicopter just to make our lives easier. And then we're going to start. Like every single building in this town. Let me show you on the map. Every single building in this city. Every goddamn one. I'm going to go to. I'm going to review the exterior. I'm going to review the roof. I'm going to see if the ventilation is safe. I'm basically reviewing this town of how safe it is, of the quality of the buildings. So, yeah, let's go. Alright. And uh, we don't want to listen to any radio because I want to. I want to upload this maybe later. So we have to go to a helicopter. Helicopter! Helicopter! I know where to get a helicopter. Oh, you, can you lot just fuck off? There's a great helicopter on a, a little a little hidden building. A little hidden building. We're gonna go there now. You can also get it in Tommy's state. I really hope this movie's not half date. Because I've left it for a while. <coughs> Hopefully, it is not off. You're such a heavenly view. Are you sure I've not got the volume up on that phone? <gasps> well, let's try to be sever, but we are professional building reviewers, okay? We are not murderers. That was an accident. So yeah, that, that doesn't come back to me, that was a complete accident. Up the stairs we go. Yeah, we can get up here. Oh shit. Well, that's awkward. And how the fuck am I going to get up here? Oh, okay. I'm going to kill myself! <laughs> I'm going to fucking kill myself before I even get started. Alright, up here, up here, up here. Okay, now we've got a free helicopter and this is our... We're gonna get to these buildings soon, but we'll leave these bigger ones to later. The flying helicopter is pretty awkward, so... But I know where we're going, we have to go to the other island, and we're going to the Deacon Hotel. The Deacon Hotel, and we're gonna review that. I'm excited, because it looks pretty nice. WCB, what's that? I don't know what that means. I'm going to the Deacon Hotel and I'm gonna review it. So it's over on this beach. Welcome back. Yes, I am very welcome to be back. And you too, welcome back. I remember you. You were here this morning. Well, no this morning, it was like the afternoon. Okay, so I think we're here. We don't want to crash the helicopter because we're going to need this. Actually, I can't tell what building it is. So I reviewed... 
I've reviewed three of these buildings before. It's this one I'm on next. No, that one. I've done that one before. Hmm. Actually, I'm pretty confused. I think that just might be a Yeah, it's just a semi building. We'll just, we'll just avoid that one. But yeah, we're on the, the Deacon Hotel now, this, this white one. So we've done this row. This first free building stretch, I've done that. So let's land it. I'm going to review this. Okay, the Deacon Hotel. Starting off straight away, it's looking really nice. The exterior is looking very slick. I love the lights. I love the signs, the big hotel there. you got the Deacon Hotel, very memorable. Because I remembered it. You've got a little nice porch here. Great design with the blues and the reds. You've got a nice little free thing here. It goes up, kind of goes there. That's kind of ugly a bit. By the way, you inspire me to make one frame border based on face city colours. Nice. Yeah, I'm proud of this one. I'd like to see what yours want, what your one looks like. But I think it looks nice. It's just a, uh, it's more interesting to to watch, I suppose. Than just the average when it's just a full screen. It looks nice. It's also nice today. Creative and stuff. But um, we got this blue thing goes up there. We got whatever the fuck that is. I'm not sure if I like these. It's gonna look ugly. Chat. Let me see. Oh, I thought you meant like, like your profile or something. Lower. And then Lower. we've got this nice thing. We've got nice like four lines under each window. That's pretty nice. We've got a cave little bit here that dents in. I like that design. That's pretty slick. We've got the Deacon Hotel sign that doesn't connect to the. It doesn't connect to the actual building, it's kind of hovering above it. So this looks nice, except from those bits. I think those bits are quite ugly. But other than that, it looks quite nice. Let's go ruin the building. Alright, we've got cables connecting, that's very nice. I love these little dents in here, it gives it a really cool vibe to it. We've got three windows down on each side. That's a smaller window, I wonder if that's like a hallway or something. Now let me see. Oh, it's on your chat, that's pretty cool. How did you do that? Alright. Oh, you twat! I've got fair health now. Okay, so I like that design. Of course, the cables are very important. We have to see if this building has ventilation, because if it doesn't, it's not going to be very good for the residents of this hotel. Oh, it shines a nice little lime green neon here. Oh, that makes it look even better. That is definitely bumping up the score later. Let's see how this looks. Hmm, it doesn't quite connect, but that's fine since it's a neon light. It looks very nice. I love the L shape. Let's go to the back of the building. I'm just going to take the helicopter. My Why is my camera stopped right now? There we go. Yeah, I don't want to go on the roof quite yet. I'm just reviewing the back of the building. Okay, where should I go? I will land here. Oh shit. Well, that's a spoiler for the next one. Okay, what's that? Oh, straight away we've got ventilation. Let's get a sniper out. We have got good ventilation here. We've got two ventilations right here. It's nicely designed at the back of the building so it's no ugly on the front or the sides. We've got another ventilation right here. You can see the plug that goes up. 
What the? Are you gonna blow up? Okay, I think we lost the helicopter. <laughs> I think there's no saving this. Unless I... Oh shit. Oh shit, go. Oh my god. <laughs> this is not how this was supposed to go. Okay, well, I guess I've lost my helicopter. Okay, first of all, we've got nice plugs here. Well, not nice. They're ugly, but they're hidden away. We've got plugs on this side connected to both buildings. We've got one that's higher up connecting to the window up there. That I can see. It goes into there. So we've got plugs and we've got wires and we've got this thing, which I think is probably to store all the plugs in it. We've got nice ventilation. It's always good. Because some of these builders don't have ventilation and they're going to kill their customers. Oh, we've even got some lights on. We're going to spy on these people. So, there's even some residents in the hotel right now. Probably shagging. Or sleeping or taking drugs. But you know what? That's good. We've got some some residents here. We've got one, two, three, I can see. So yes, the back of this is very good. I can't get on the roof though. So I blow up the fucking helicopter. I'm gonna have to go for another one. Oh, damn it, I have to be more careful with the fucking helicopter. And now I'm stuck in this. Why did I take that pill? Why did I take that goddamn pill? Now I'm just gonna fucking walk like a fucking turtle for five fucking years. Oh, this is gonna make this process even slower. And does this thing run out? That's where I got. Alright, we're gonna have to go for another helicopter. Can we please just hurry this pill shit up? My god, man. Get off. Can I listen to music? Because I want to upload this later. Oh, fess off you. Alright, we're gonna just go to, since it's close by, we're gonna go to Tommy's house, go to the helipad, get a quick helicopter, and then try and keep it in good condition. We're gonna use it to get through the entire city, hopefully, even though I just ruined the first fucking helicopter on the first fucking building. But we have to do a roof review, we have to do a roof review, alright? Very important. It's very fucking important to do a roof review. We need to see how the roof looks. Da, 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 da. It's so slow to get through this building, I swear to god. I hate that woman. What woman? It's no woman. We don't know any women, what are you talking about? We don't speak to women. <laughs> they don't speak to us. Right. Okay, we've got a nice slight helicopter. This is going to do the job. I can feel it. No music, unfortunately. Alright, let's go, boys. Back to View Beach, or whatever it's called. We're going to do a quick roof review, and then we're going to move on to the next building. I guess right here, actually. Yeah, it's right here. Which is, uh, what is the deacon? This is the deacon. Oh, by the looks of it, there's no much happening on this roof. But we're gonna do it, anyway. Okay. Land it slick. Boom. Alright. Starting off, we've got some bushes, we've got some bits of paper. We've got these little, uh, pointy squares poking out, which is quite nice. Gives a nice, slick design to this building, instead of it just being a big cube. We go, ooh, we got weird design over here with this is a big little rectangular shape here, but then we got smaller ones here. The building doesn't seem to be even, but it's nice in that design. We've got a pointy little thing right here that also has that ugly design that I don't like. That's probably the biggest flaw of this building. But that has the cool neon lights and it's also a kind of like hoof shape and I'm literally in it. I'm standing in it. Okay, that, that 
definitely degrades points. That degrades points. I, it's not even a physical thing. I can literally just walk in it. That's taking points away right there. So overall, I'm going to give the Deacon Hotel an 8. Mm, I'll give it a 7.9 because there's a few issues. First of all, these are ugly and I, this is not a physical thing. So that, that minuses the points from this building and it gives it a 7.9. But overall, pretty good building. Let's move on to the next building. And just roll. Eight. Which is literally right next to it, so you just kinda of park it down here. Ooh, this looks nice. Ooh, oh my god, this looks sweet. I don't know if this is also a hotel. It doesn't say hotel on it, so this could be literally anything. This could be a pub or a club or anything. First of all, we've got um, just a very regular kind of shape here, but we've got some windows which I don't know what the fuck is happening with these windows. Like, what is this? What is this supposed to be? I don't like it. We've got some nice little doors here. We've got a little weird design up here with these. I'm guessing this is a club. This has to be like a nightclub or something, because it doesn't, it doesn't have a hotel vibe to it. But it also just could be a hotel. Ooh, we've got stairs on the side here. This is a first. This is a first. So we've got a nice little purple, light purple view probably of the neon things. We've got these edges coming out here. That goes up all the way and it looks very, very nice. It gives it a really nice design. We've got also a lot, little shorter two ones here. That don't connect. We've got a nice little pillar that goes up. Very lovely colours, probably the best design colours. Um, probably the least good neon lights though, it's kind of like a whitish purple. I like. Uh, I think the other neon lights have a lot more personality to them. Let's go up the stairs, because uh, this is the first, so we've got a... This is a plus because it has stairs. You can get a better view of the windows. This is even more, you know, proof that it's not a hotel because there's literally no lights on other than except that building, you know, other than that building. Also, the windows are bigger than that building, so these clearly are bedroom windows. These have to be kind of fat, they kind of like factory s build uh, windows. Very big, so we got got two on each side here. So that equals about three. So we've got about six there. Is that right? Three, four, five. Yeah, six there. We've got six there. And these are a lot smaller windows. But we've got this weird staircase that kind of just goes up and then goes down. I don't know what this is for. I don't know what the purpose in this is. That was probably just for that mission. <laughs> but it does have a nice little thing to it. Especially if there was a door here for like staff to get in and but. Uh, we've got ventilation, of course, very important. We've got two in each year, not too many. It doesn't look very ugly. Uh, nicely designed, not as many wires as that building. Um, so, yeah, that looks good. Let's look on the other. Oh, it's just literally connected. There isn't even a gap there. Oh, well, that's a bit weird. Oh, this is literally like a homeless guy dragged his fucking crack. It's like, it's like he got down, had a shite, and just dragged his ass across the fucking side of this right here. There's a literal pile of shit on the side of the building. That's going to minus some points. Ugh, that's ugly, and it probably smells. So that's going to minus some uh, points there. Um, see, there's also shit here. Come on, game. There's also some shit on the side of here, I don't like that. But especially looking at here, yeah, it's pretty grimy. You're not taking care of the premises of this building. And in the daytime it's yellow, which I don't know if I like that. You know what, I'm going to give this building a 6, because there's some things that I like, but overall it's a bit bland compared to the rest. So yeah, it doesn't have as much personality as some of the other buildings. Alright, next building, which is basically... We're just going to avoid that one since it's just a copy print. 
of the other one that I did before. So if there's a built-in that's basically just the same copy print of another one, I'm just gonna avoid it. Okay, dude, this is weird. This is a big build-in here. Ooh, this is probably the biggest building we've reviewed so far. Um, so first of all, there's this massive kind of courtyard-esque thing. This might be like some kind of law firm or something. Definitely gives off that vibe, but you've got a big little outside area probably for some smokers to come out for a smoke break. But you've got this weird kind of bluish colour, kind of dingy looking. Got, um, got a bench to sit on out here. It'd be good to have a bench up here though. So yeah, I'm guessing this is some kind of law firm or something. So to do no missions. Yeah, man. I'm not gonna do any missions. I'm getting through this whole fucking city. So this is gonna take a long time. Or at least most of it. Most of it. I might not do every building because that would take absolutely forever. It depends on the time, like. Because I have to stop about maybe 10 or 11. Um, but other than that, I should be good to go for a while. So this is like 6 in the morning right now. Uh, but we've got these big window frames here. Really cool design. You've got little, little windows with a big cube window here. we got this weird design of a thing where it goes up here. And then it halts right there. So there's like a little like platform on the window. And then another window. And then this. I'm not sure how that looks actually. But then we've got these things. These circular things here. These circular things that go into the building have a nice entrance, freeway, and then you've got lots and lots of windows, like absolutely massive. So this is clearly not a hotel. This is clearly not a hotel. This must be some kind of business operation. So let's see the the side. Well, this is very plain. Nothing, nothing here really. But there's also something up there. I might take my helicopter up there. We have kind of two roofs. We actually have about four roofs. We have this roof here. We have that one, that one, and then the main roof up there. Ooh, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Um, we've got the back area here, which is just a lot, a lot of plugs, like ugly, ugly plugs here, and pipes, kind of shite pipes that they're that the Wall Street boys are shiting down. This goes all the way into the gutter. You can even see some of the shite running down the building here, clearly. So yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about these plugs at the back of the building. It does not look flattering. Um, yeah, very standard, just plain white sides here. Let's go on the roofs, because there's multiple roofs to this building to explore. Multiple. This is going to be tricky to get my helicopter up here. Hey. So let's go in the little mini roof first. I, I need to make sure that I don't lose my helicopter as well. Up here. Maybe just hover above it. Yeah, you can see there's a little edge there. So there's... So there's edge here, which is basically just a normal little edge. Goes down here. I need to be careful with this, but this is a little side. Holy fuck, what the hell. Maybe I'll just review it from the top. Yeah, so we got a bit free, free little roof, like a little mini roof, another mini roof, and then a big roof. Which, no ventilation on the roof, there's a little bit there. Let's see if this is actually a thing, or if it's just another... Yeah, that isn't even a thing there. It's invisible. Let's see the little mini bits though. Let's get on the other building roof to see. Okay. Yeah, we got these little weird things there that wrap all the way around. Um, not much to see on it though. But yeah, the building is uh, a bit. F it's alright. 
not too impressive. Um, but it has some weird design choices here and there. Um, I'll give it a bit of 7, I think. Not much ventilation either. I guess this, the next building is this one that I'm on. May as well do the roof right now. Which it looks pretty fucking plain actually. There's literally nothing to see on this roof. There's uh, this little blue thing which... Am I gonna fall through? Yeah. Cannot believe that. Okay, I'm giving this fucking... The, yeah, this is a Moonlight Hotel. I'm giving you a minus. Just because you made me lose my fucking helicopter. Okay, I will say that this is pretty cool. These little special kind of sweet rooms probably. With this little design out here, it looks pretty neat. I like the door, like the entrance. The colours are very pretty. The the green and the kind of tortoise lightish blue probably. Again, ugly windows. I mi fucking fell through that so it isn't even a thing. So, yeah, you got shit on the walls. Let's see the back. What the hell is this? What the fuck is this? Okay, first of all, there's no ventilation. Like, anywhere. There's not a single bit of ventilation on this building. This entire building is a hazard to live in. And then you've got this big, just, cave in here with a back entrance to some dingy basement. Yeah, this, this building sucks. I'm giving it a 5. I'm giving it a 5 out of 10 because that absolutely sucks and it made me lose my fucking helicopter. Alright, give me a car. Hey, why would you do that, you twat? They've never done that before. Alright. Let's go get another helicopter here. I have to go get... Go back to Tommy's place. <laughs> go back to the residency of Tommy Versetti. Go to the helipad, get my helicopter. Come back. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even going to bother with that building. That building was terrible. That building was absolutely awful, so we're not even going to pay that any mind. I do like that little sweet bit that came out though, that was pretty cool. But other than that, it was pretty shy. You're going to love this, Tommy. You just stop losing my helicopters. And I'm going to do this fast. Get off. Alright, let's go. Okay, so it's this one right here, this little, this little bluish one here. Quite tucked away, I'm guessing it's another fucking hotel, because it's just lines of hotels on this fucking building. What the hell? But yeah, it's a hotel, but honestly, I'm loving this. I'm absolutely loving this little design of kind of the 
Theater-esque logo stretched out to the whole um, design of the doors, kind of going up there. So the Colin, the Colin, Colin, the Colin Hotel, kind of weird name. But also, I love the palm tree at the side of the building. It makes it look very nice, very slick. Although it's not as big and uh, brooding as some of the hotels on the street, it has a nice slick design. It's clean. From what I can see, I love these little blue curtain things or whatever they're called. These hoods. Oh, it doesn't have a fucking back. It doesn't have a fucking back end. Ooh, that's a that's a minus point right there. But it also has a shadow, which is nice. Got some nice slick windows that go all the way to the bottom. Kind of hopefully like a lunch room in here. You can kind of look out and see the view of the beach while you're having your lunch in the morning. Um, so yeah, I love this, love this kind of theatre cinema uh, design of the hotel. Very memorable. Nice blue design here. Very nice blue design overall in this building. Very tortoise colours. We've got some dark blues. Um, I love these little things. They have like kind of an ocean vibe, but they're kind of wavy, which fits with the water. So the, the colours are amazing. Colour tones, amazing. Very cosy looking building. Don't know what these uh, little things are. Surely these aren't rooms. They're probably like storage. Or maybe they are like more cheaper kind of sets of rooms. Um, so yeah, we got that. So the front of the building is looking perfection. This might actually be my favourite hotel that I've seen so far. Though it is smaller, the design is so slick and it looks very fancy and nice. Probably not going to be a cheap visit or stay, but it'll be worth it, I'd say. Ooh, I don't know. We've got some, we got some dump air here. Clearly, they've got excess wood in this place. Probably the ship wine, and they've kind of just dumped it at the side here. That's definitely a minus point. Definitely a minus to this building. Is that having this ugly little thing on the side? Also, we've got some shite at the side here. Um, oh, this this building is terrible! Oh my God, even this building brings this building down. But we've got nice little side here with the colours stretching up. We've got like whites, and it goes into lighter blues, into darker, into it gets darker as it goes up. I like that. That has a nice design. Uh, we got one, two, three, four. We got four on each side, so that's about twelve windows. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, twelve windows. It'd be nice if these little edges went all the way around the building, but it doesn't seem to do that. Ah! Finally, a building with ventilation. No pipes. No ugly wires. That's a plus. It's right next to the window as well. Which is hopefully it isn't a room, because that would minus some points to have ventilation right outside your fucking room. And staring at this ugly building. But very important ventilation. We've got nice windows up here, but the same... I like the colours as it gets darker each goes, so this is a bit the same here. But very slight, very nice. Let's get my helicopter and go on the roof. Let's get to the roof, boys. We'll get in there. Whew, all this talking is getting me winded, man. Ooh, I didn't know it was that before. <gasps> okay, now the neon lights are coming on, let's see how this looks. Okay, I can't, I can't fucking see because let's get down first. That looks gorgeous. I love the wavy lines. Really gives an ocean vibe. Love that. Love it. Love it. Love it. That wavy neon lights. Beautiful. Beautiful. That gives it a plus. Feeling an eight already, but we'll see if we get to the roof. Feeling a strong eight with this one though. Got beautiful design here. Low pointy bit, probably gonna fall off if I try to do that, so I'm not gonna bother. What does that say? I think it's just the thing just lopsided, so that's kinda weird. Uh Nolan, I think it's just the colon bit like opposite. No one would see that, so I don't know why they put it there. Very standard roof, no ventilation up here, which is kind of a minus point. But we have ventilation down the side here, so 
I can let it go. I'm feeling a strong 8 with this building. Very nice build. This might be my favourite hotel so far on this side of the um, island. On this beach side here. Alright, let's go to this building. Alright. So yeah, strong eight with that one. Let's go here. I think this is just a copy and paste, yeah. Those are both copy and paste, so I'm not even gonna bother. Maybe let's see the back of it, maybe. It's not there's nothing to see there. But yeah, it's basically a copy and paste of that one that was over there, so it's decent, I suppose. Ooh, that building shines like red, that's pretty nice actually. Let's go to the next one, I think this is a copy and paste as well. Come on Rockstar! This is like free copy and paste of the same building. Okay, we'll just go until it isn't a copy and paste. Well this one's a little different, the roof is a bit different here. I think this is different, so we'll do this. What are you even crashing? What? So we've got a nice palm tree here. Got a nice palm tree uh, at, the, at the start of the building. We've got nice little white neon lights. Kind of shine purple a little bit. Um, yeah, not much to see here. There's a nice little interior designs that are chose like this yellow beam that goes up. It's pretty slick and nice. Let's go over the side. Let's go over the side of the building here. Um, we've got three windows each side, so that's about six. Quite plain, white and brownish colours, not much. No ventilation, that's a minus. That's a minus point right there. Um, the roof, let's go to the roof, even though there's not much to see. So, we've got this nice little pole which I haven't seen anywhere else. I'm just going to fall for that. Oh no, this is actually a stiff material that you won't fall through. So it actually fucking exists within the plane of existence. So there's a pole there, that's definitely a plus. No ventilation at the top, but there's also no dirt to be seen. I'll go with this. Um, get this bell in like a 6. It's quite plain, quite boring, but it works I suppose. Okay, let's get down on the ground here. For this next building. Ooh, this seems to be a unique building as well. Yeah, this is an entirely new, unique building. Ooh! It's very like underwater, kind of like, you know, Aquaman. Like, what, what's that place under the water? They call it? I don't know what it's called. Like, the, the ocean city and shit that Aquaman lives in. That's what this looks like. It looks like it would be a city underwater. Not sure what this building is supposed to be. Is it a hotel? Maybe this whole street is just hotels, honestly. Uh, but it doesn't specifically say it on the building, so it could be anything. But just as a building, it has this nice green glow. It has a very ethereal quality to it. Uh, we have nice little window here with a bench. Kind of uneven, though. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, so yeah, the benches are nice to let people sit on, but nice glass pane views in between the doors, just to let you look outside, I suppose. Then we got a nice slight door, the right shape for me, I suppose. Um, we got these little nice kind of Greek-looking design here, with little edges that pop out. Very nice looking, very nice. Let's go to the side of the building. Ooh, this is kind of ugly. Oh, that's ugly as hell. We got one long window. We got what seems to be whatever the fuck, like a window frame. 
So that's it. There's there's no other window than that. We've got those jaggy bits that don't pop out here. Yeah, this is this is terrible. This is awful. This looks ugly as hell. We got little jaggy bits that point out at the back. That's the first. We got windows that go up there. We got no other windows though. We got one random little bit here. A ugly brick wall at the back. Yeah, this is not looking hot here. We got no windows on that side. Yeah. So clearly, it's trying to make a cut. It's trying to make a pretty little front so that you forget about all the ugly. All the ugliness on the backs and sides. So the front is beautiful, and then you turn your head to the side, and it is so fucking ugly. There's one window yet. Yeah. I'm gonna give this a five. Terrible building. Just trying to hide this ugliness. Also, the windows are quite small. Let's go to this bit here. Go to this one. Hmm, at least this makes itself known that it is a hotel. Tells you quite plain and simply, hotel. It's got a nice little pinkish glow to it. But every every building except from those ones back there have a neon light. So it's nothing unique, but it's the first of the pinks that I've seen, but this one's also pink. It's got a nice like barred opening um door here. I like that. That's the first I think. We've got little bars on the windows, which is quite weird. We've got little, like... These little, like, vents are the windows. Terrible. Um, we got the sides. we got no windows on the sides. On that side. Let's see, we've got no windows on that side. Let's see the back. Yeah, I think this is the back of this one. Yeah, I can tell because it's like shining pink in there. Or maybe this is it. No, because it isn't that big. It's got little blue bits on the back. That's weird since the whole building is like pinkish. Kind of emulates this pink glowing and it's got these weird blue beams at the back. That's weird. It's also got... Seems to be a little vent here. It's got a little vent. Like pipes coming down. It's got a weird back door, which I do not like. It's kind of ugly. It's got this kind of probably to hide some plugs. It also looks like a deck. We got little things here, probably just plugs and beams to keep wires. Little pink bits and blue bits, and uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of this back. Back of the building here, I'm not a big fan of that. Let's go to the roof though. Oh, it's kind of, it shines blue in the daytime, but when it turns night, it goes pink. That's a weird contrast, and I don't like that. Don't like that one little bit. Alright. Alright, let's go to the roof. Well, what are you doing, man? Stop! Are you fucking getting me right now? Ah, oh, okay, our helicopter blew up. <laughs> can I push you off? Can I push you off the edge so I can get a better view of the roof here? Come on, get off the edge. Let me shove you. Okay, well, we're just gonna do it with that in the way. God damn these fucking helicopters. I think that got a what I literally have shot at nothing. I shot at a fucking broken helicopter. Okay. One good thing about this roof is that there's actually vents. Like, for the past, like, five buildings, the roofs have nothing on them, but this one actually has two nice vents over here. It's got nice ventilation over here with what seems to be little pipes for chimneys. Two right here. So we've got a lot of ventilation on the roof, nice and hidden away. However. You lot just fuck off. Just shot a helicopter. Can I not shoot a helicopter? I've literally killed people and then the police don't go on me. But I shoot a helicopter and a hell no, you know what I mean? It makes no sense. Hey mate, can you calm down?
And we're actually gonna go back to Tommy's place and get another goddamn helicopter. Whoopsie. I'm just getting police on me for everything. Maybe I should run one of you cunts there, just for the hell of it. Gonna have to go back for a helicopter again. Hey mate, you were in my way, alright? You can blame yourself. Really? You're going to... You're going to shoot me? I just bumped into you for crying out loud and you're going to like... Level 9 destruction, you know what I mean? Going to 0 to 100. Alright, so back up to the helipad. Hey Mario. Hey Mario. I'm at least getting this full ocean today. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get this whole city. Like, oh my god, there's so many buildings. I kind of overestimated myself with this one, but I'm definitely getting the full beach view buildings. Alright, back to view, back to beach, back to the beach boys, not the band because they suck, but we're going back to the actual beach, to the houses and the the hotels, and actually there's no houses on that street, it's basically just hotels, and like a business farm or something, whatever the hell that big building is, whatever that building is trying to be. So where do we go? Let's just look at the front to see if we've, we've um, reviewed these. Go a bit on the beach. Just to see. Okay, I think I've gone to these all. I've gone to all of these. These were just copy and paste, so I've missed a few of them. Yeah, this is where I was, so it's this one now. This one, this one looks nice, I like it. Yeah, that's just a copy and paste of the other one, so I won't do that one. But, oh, actually, this does not look good. This does not look good at all, oh my god, look at the walls! Look at the amount of dirt! Look at the amount of fucking dirt on these walls. Terrible. They've not washed this building since 1965. It's just collecting all that dust from the Miami beaches. Look, look at how. Look at the dirt. Look at the dirt on this building. Oh, there's even shit on the ground. There's shit running down the walls. Probably bird shit. Uh, there's whatever the fuck this is, which I think is probably just a plug or a pipe. Just in the front bit, you're supposed to hide these away at the back. Yeah, this is not looking good. Let's see if we got any windows. Yep, doesn't seem we got any windows, but we have got little cube bits inside, which is nice. Uh, those don't match. I don't think those actually they do match. They match. Oh, we do have little. Look at those tiny windows. Look how small those windows are. This is a terrible hotel. This is absolutely terrible. This is the worst one I think I've seen so far. Oh my god, look at the amount of vents. Let's go on this one. Just to review the back. Okay, so... We have like no back entrance or anything. We've got a few little dingy windows here. A few dingy. What the fuck? There seems to be trees in the windows. Like, why would there be trees? In There's palm trees in the windows. That makes no fucking sense. There's literal palm trees in the goddamn windows. 
That makes no sense at all. That looks so dumb. Yeah, this this is a zero. That's just the first zero I've given a build in this. This build is awful. Also, we've got some vents, which is nice, I suppose. It's nice to have some vents on the roof. Make sure everyone's alive, but that's pretty much the man minimum with this building. Terrible. Alright, next one. Alright, let's go on the let's go on the floor here. Ooh, this is nice. Oh yeah, th this one I've pretty much already done that. This is just a copy and paste of the one over there, so. Um this looks nice though. Look at these nice like blue tiny windows. Very lovely. I don't know what this design is. It looks kinda weird. It looks like an eyeball. But it looks kind of nice at the same time. Got kind of like octagon kind of circular things, whatever these are. Uh, got a nice little entrance here, very slick, very nice. I love the plain white. Also, there's palm trees in the windows. This doesn't make sense. Why would there be palm trees in the fucking window? Like, is it reflect? Is it supposed to be reflecting that? Like. Are they growing palm trees in this building? Like, it doesn't make sense. we got tiny little windows here and there. But it's very nice. There's no dart like there was in that building over there. Um, very nice design overall. Look at these little bits here. Got these little upward kind of things. and There's quite little touches here and there that make it nice. But I do love the spotlessness of this building and then they ruin it. And then they ruin it with the side that is just completely yellow and gross. Um, yep, yeah, and it's all dingy in the back. Look at how disgusting this is. Like that nice pristine front entrance with this. This disgusting alleyway. With dirt on the goddamn walls. I think that's about a shite right there. We've got crappy little windows. This looks like something you'd see at the back of a Chinese shop. Honestly, God. We got dirt there. We got dirt there. We got supposed to dirt right there. Uh, whatever the fuck this is, probably just a shite hole or a glory hole to stick your cock in. Tiny dingy windows. Yeah, this is terrible. Crappy windows over here. Um. Yeah, this is awful. This is one of the worst ones, I think. One of the worst back ones. One of the worst back ones of a building. Uh, but the front is pretty nice. I'll give it an even 5.5, I'll say. The front is good, the back is terrible. 5.5 out of 10. What's this nice one? Again, there's, there's palm trees in the windows, it doesn't make sense, but. Wait. We've got another Moonlight. There's two Moonlight hotels. This one right over there as well. They didn't even bother to just give it another name or something, I don't know. It's kinda dumb. I don't like that. This is the same copy paste, so I'm not even gonna bother. This is a copy paste as well, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's a copy paste. We've seen about five of those fucking buildings by now. This one's different. This one up here. Let's destroy the light. Okay, then there. It's basically the same as this, but with a different colour. But I do like the colour more. It's kind of funky. It's kind of weird, kind of quirky out there. The nice purple, exaggerated, saturated colours. Nice little patio here. Goes all the way around. Again, there's palm trees in the windows. I just, it looks so dumb. We've got one vent over here with a brown back. We've got three, we've got six windows in the back here. Kind of dingy low. Oh, this is kind of weird. Like, this is kind of like a triangular back alley that doesn't fit. Um, I do like the front a lot. I'm not a big fan of the back. It's there for review. Ooh, 
Ooh, that's nice. Is this actually... yeah, that's an actual object. Again, there's no ventilation up here. I do like that this is a, an actual solid object of material. Um, we've got this nice little thing here that's just quite nice, quite funky. Um, I'll give this like a... I'll give it like a... Oh, this is tricky. Cause it's basically just copy and paste of that but with a different colour. Oh shit. Well, I've lost my helicopter again. God damn it. I think I'll give it like a 7. It's nice, at least. I like the colours. The yellows and kind of whatever the hell that colour is, and the purples and blues. and It's out there, but it's nice. It's a nice design. I'll shoot it because of how much I love it. Just uh, wake up the residents of this hotel a bit. Alright. Let's go get another helicopter again. <laughs> I need to stop. I need to stop doing this, man. God oh, damn it! There's so many hotels in this town. God damn. I need to stop losing my goddamn helicopters or I'm gonna be here all I'm gonna be here all day anyway. I'm gonna be here even extra. I'm gonna actually die. I'm losing so much health. Give me a break. I'm gonna fucking die before any of this is done. It'll be interesting once we start getting to the taller buildings or when we start getting to the houses. That's when things are gonna get fun. That's when stuff is gonna get fun. Alright. Let's get a new back to the beach. Alright, we may be too far ahead or maybe we've done all this. I think we've done um, this part 4. Yeah, I think we've done all this. Let's just get a good view just in case. Back to the beach, yeah. <laughs> I'm just reviewing... I mean, I've, I don't know if you know what I'm doing, but I'm literally reviewing every single building in the city. Getting a rating, reviewing the system of it. I don't know what building I'm on right now. Though there is a lot of there's a lot of copy and paste buildings, so I just skip those. What building am I on actually? I think I'm all the way down here now. Have I done this one? I'm not sure if I've done any oh, I remember this yeah, I've done all of these. Done all of these. Which was the one I was on? This was the one I did. Yeah, the funky looking one. 
it's hard to see in the, in the night time, but I think this was it. So it's this one I'm, I'm on there. Yeah, that's just a copy and paste, so avoid this one, but uh, we'll do this one. Oh, you bastard, come on, I didn't even hit him. Alright, the Dakota, or Dakota, Dakota, yeah. Dakota Johnson fucking hotel. I forgot, I forgot, are you playing the OG version? Or the Rockstar remake? I'm playing the OG version, I've got it on DVD. I'm playing the um, disc. Uh, so, we've got a really slick purple design here. Also, I love the wavy. The wavy design, it really looks like an ocean. I've said that before, the other one, but this is blue instead of, uh, purple instead of blue, which uh, doesn't give that vibe as much, but I do love the purple, pinkish design. I love this design, and also the name is quite cool, the Dakota. So I love the design of this. It's really slick, um, purple, kind of cinema-esque thing. The free doors with the bars. On it. What the fuck? Look at the size of this door. <laughs> this is the biggest door I think I've ever seen. You wouldn't even be able to reach the handle. Okay, that's a mine. Also, I can see the inside. I can see the inside of the building. That's a minus. The, this is all a minus point. Uh, oh, nice. You can see what they really look like. Yeah. So we're gonna do it all. We're gonna do the back, and then we do a roof review as well. So. I like this red little, I don't know what you call these, what do you call these things? But I like this bit, if you go underneath it you can actually see it actually disappears, so that's a minus point. But the windows are quite nice, not anything too fancy, I don't see anything in particular in them. But they aren't fucking palm trees anyway. Like there's fucking windows you look at and they're just palm trees. Oh my god. Um, so I can't really see and maybe this is like a couch or something. Uh, we've we've got a resident in this uh in this um very big room. This is probably like a, a big suite room. Probably very expensive. But we've got a resident, lights on. Now are you also looking at other things in front of the buildings, like if they are plants or stairs or just the building. Yeah, I'll definitely look at other things. Oh yeah, there's a there's a palm tree right here. Yeah, like if there's fen if there's like uh, benches and stuff, that definitely adds extra points. Which there isn't any benches here. Let's uh, go over in the sides. Uh, we've also got these little things, I didn't even notice that. The poker. Quite big though, quite obnoxious looking. I don't know if I like that actually. There's also dirt on it. See that? There's like shite, shite running down it. They haven't cleaned this in a while. We've got a couple windows, we've also got a couple residents in. Got nice curtains here, let's see if we can see them naked. Nah, I can see someone's hand I think. We've got a couple residents that are actually in it. Quite abandoned though, no too, no too many lights on. Couple here and there. Okay, we've got ventilation here. We've got ventilation. Very good. We've got a nice pole that connects to the building and also connects to the other surrounding. Actually, I'm not a fan of this because it literally is touching the building. I don't like that. Um, it's literally touching the building. I don't know if I like that very much. Oh, look at this. There's a neon that is purple here and then it slowly goes blue. Then it goes purple again. That's that's a plus. That's a plus right there. I like that. What the f Yeah, that's kind of ugly, that, that just sticking out there. That hanging just sticking out. Minus. That's kind of ugly. We've got a few residents in again. Let's do a roof review. I like the little green. I think that's shining enough for this one. Let's go up to the roof and review it. Okay, the outside is looking very nice though, I like the front. I'm not a massive fan of the back. Okay, there's literally nothing here. This <laughs> is literally the most empty fucking roof. No ventilation. There is a bit of ventilation at the back though, so... I'll cut it some slack that way, but there should always be some extra ventilation at the top of the building. That's, get that's getting some minuses. Alright, let's give the final review here. 
I think I'm gonna give this somewhere in the 7 range. Let's go to the front. So I can get my, my thoughts. There isn't too much dark though. Like there's some buildings here where there's actual just shite running down the sides. There isn't any of that with this building. It looks very nice. Very pleasant at the front. It looks decent at the sides. And kind of ugly at the back but you can forgive it. So I'm going to give this a 7.6. I think is a fair score. Right let's move on to this one. The WK... What the fuck? The Char Hot. What does that mean? What does this even say? The ch Chariot. The Chariot. 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 First off, it's got a very nice neon kind of green glow. Ooh, that's weird. It's got purple at the back. Nah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of this. You, get, you need to stick to a consistent colour here. You, you just turn around, it's purple. Also, very ugly ventilation system here. It's probably the most ugly ventilation system that I've seen. Like, look at this. It's just like right next to the window and everything. I do like how the windows pop out. I do like that, you get like an extra, some extra room to move but Something Chariot, yeah, something Chariot, I don't even think that's readable, the other fucking word. But you've got, um, that's weird, what is that? Maybe th those are cottons. But I, I do like that these pop out. But the view isn't very good, like you get to get a view of, what, this? And the brick wall? That's kind of nice, the way it pops out there. So I like the green design. Also, wherever these are, these little lamps on the side are quite nice to look at. But this little thing behind it is quite ugly. So I'm not sure about that. Again, there's just palm trees in the windows. That's a minus. I think that purple is the glow from the... Oh, the other building next to it. That makes sense. That makes sense, actually. Still very ugly ventilation system. But I do like the pop out of these windows and how it goes across there. That's a new one, I've never seen that. That's a very cool... Gives the guest extra room to move about in the rooms as well. That's nice, actually. It's also got this nice little thing here. Let's check the other side. Pretty much the same, except there's no purple glow. Very plain back. Very ugly windows. You've got a nice vent here, though. I suppose not too ugly, no, no any pipes that are too ugly. Um, oh, oh my. Oh, that's ugly in the daytime, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, that definitely retracts some points. In the nighttime, this looks very fucking good, this looks beautiful, but as soon as it, try, it strikes daytime, look at how ugly this is. <laughs> Yeah, the, the pink, it turns green to pink. Yeah, that, that that's going to retract some, some points. Yeah, it says WK Chariot, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to go a 6.9 with this. I was going to go a 7 or an 8. But it looks quite ugly in the daytime. Alright, we're not going to do that one because I've already done that. That's a copy and paste. Maybe they had to use some lighting source trick to keep the number of lighting sources low for PS2. That makes sense, actually. And also, um, it may just be a cool detail that they wanted to add that it reflects onto the other buildings. There's definitely some little things that, that are uh, hidden away, though. Like the fact that, that when you go under those little things, let me show you. When you go under these things, like some of the objects aren't real. Like usually the ones at the top you can just walk through and they aren't actually there. Like this as well, like this isn't a real object, it's just kind of just kind of saving space. But we'll miss this one because I've already done that, it's just a copy. Even the name, it still didn't even change the name or not. But this one, oh my, this, this kind of has like a Chinese vibe, kind of Japanese. Especially with those like red dots at the top and the pinks and reds. I do like it. I wonder how this looks at night actually. Uh, so the Lawrence, very fancy name. Is this a hotel? 
it kind of has a hotel vibe, but it doesn't specifically say it. And it also, where's the main entrance? There's no door. <laughs> How the fuck do you get in? There's no door to this building. Let's see if there's a door in the back. There is no door. Okay, this isn't a door. What the fuck is this? What the hell is this? There's no door to this goddamn building. You can't even get in this building. See, I was going to say that this looks great and that, but it has no function. There's no doors on the goddamn belt. You can't even get in. Oh, fight. Right, bring it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> She's beating him up. Oh, you little bitch. Woman beat her in here. I'll take your money. Right, that didn't happen. You didn't see it. I'm just a, I'm just a, a, a decorator, enthusiast, reviewer. But let's just uh, focus on the interior instead of the, the fact that you can't even get in this building. I do like this uh, pink little um, frame that goes all the way down here. I like this little thing. The, the contrast of the pinks and reds are quite nice. Uh, the windows are not too flattering, but they, they work I suppose. Uh, maybe she started it and she kicked him. Um, and the nuts, poor guy. <laughs> I didn't see it, I just saw the, the fight break it. She was actually starting to... No, maybe I got a little offended when it started to win the fight and I was just like, no mate. But I should have paid attention to her started the fight. She probably did start the fight, to be honest. Um, uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I do like that there's a shadow around this. That's a nice detail. Um, but not very pretty when it's like right next to the window. Also, this kind of darkish, dingy color with this light it doesn't really match very well. This is the first time I've seen anything like this, like a little, like kind of hospital, kind of like interior thing. It's not very pretty, honestly. At least we've got some ventilation here, tucked away. No, no too obvious. Uh, we've just got concrete ceiling. That's not very pretty. We should look in the. We should look on the roof though. See how it looks. I wonder if there's a mod to open up the buildings or something like that. I watched a video where this guy was showing off conversation mods like make it look newer. I don't think when they add cars and guns from modern times though, you lose the 80s vibe. Yeah, true. You do lose the 80s vibe. I think they'll they'll definitely be shit like that in GTA 6, you'll definitely be able to go in more houses and stuff, I'm looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to that. I, I hope they do that anyway, I hope that I hope that all the hotels in GTA 6 you can go inside. Because if you look at the trailers it looks super realistic and you can see the interior and all that, so I really hope that you're able to go in more buildings. But um the fact that there's no door or entrance that definitely retracts points from this building. Let's say uh, give the roof a review. I'm interested to see how this looks. The interiors in this game, like the interiors of the Overview Hotel, are quite nice. So yeah, it'd be nice to have more interiors in this game. But also, the, it just it wasn't possible at the time. It wasn't even possible in GTA 4. I mean, oh, there's a pool. Oh my, oh my God! Go, go, go! Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> I was trying to jump out into the pool. <laughs> I was trying to make an escape plan to jump out and land in the fucking pool. Okay, I'm gonna load it back in because I don't want to lose my weapons. Plus, I don't lose any progress. That's a good thing. Florida isn't a great place, just hot and swampy. Yeah. Miami looks nice though, I, li I like the way Miami looks. Like, Miami's a pretty city. At least. But it's probably extremely expensive. And there's definitely probably some uglier parts of that city. Like, we're gonna have to go and get a, a helicopter. It'd be cool if they made a GTA in the UK or maybe Asia. Yeah, 
Yeah, the, actually the first few, especially since G Rockstar are a British company, they're, they're Scottish. So it makes sense that in the first ever GTA game was actually called GTA London, I'm pretty sure. So the first Grand Theft Auto game was set in the UK. So it makes sense that they would go back there. Um, like the first, like when it was like 2D and it looked down on the character, there was a British one. Pretty sure that was the first ever GTA game. Or like the second one or something. Uh, but that's the thing with like UK cities that they're they're significantly smaller than the American cities. Like American cities will go for miles and miles. But like a city like London is massive. But if you go to, like in Scotland, if you go to a city like Glasgow, it's not as big. Right, let's go to that building and give that roof overview. I'm excited because that's the first, that's the first uh, one I've seen with a, a pill on the top. Also, you, you never really pay attention to these things, but when I'm doing this right now and reviewing all these buildings, I'm really starting to notice the the assets and how they've just co kind of copied and pasted different buildings because obviously they're, they're, there's unique buildings everywhere but sometimes they'll copy and paste up the same building it's, it just makes it easier especially at the time for assets it's just good game developing but they also there's lots and lots of just unique pure buildings which is nice for the time as well just shows you how ahead of the of the car of Rockstar are with this thing. Don't need a huge city and it does not have to match. I've been too many of the locations in GTA 5. Yeah, true. That's the thing with GTA 5 though, is that 90% of the map is like an empty chasm. Like it's just hills and mountains and there's nothing on it. You know what I mean? It's like about 40% of the map is the city. And then another 20% is like the, the little towns. And then another percentage is just open mountains that has no value. It's just empty area. That's that's one thing that I hate about GTA 5 as well is that they cut out like San Fierro and they cut out like uh, Las Venturas and all that. Like uh, the game would have been significantly better. Like I cannot believe they did that. Like I know it would have been more difficult but come on now. If you can date for San Andreas, you can date for GTA 5. Right here it is. Oh fucking land this. Okay. No! You're fucking getting me right now. Okay, that's gonna blow up. Ugh, you're fucking kidding me! God damn it, I can't get to that fucking roof! See, I would land on that little bit and then I can't even get back up, that's the thing. I don't want to lose my helicopter over and over, it's so goddamn annoying. I can't fucking believe this! Turn the radio off. Honest to god, now I have to come all the way. Maybe I should just review it from when I'm flying instead of going down. I want to go in the pool though. God oh, damn it. I'll try it one more time. Never ruin the fucking helicopter again, then I'm just gonna review it from the top and move on to the next building. See, this will get fun when we start going into the bigger buildings or even the houses. What is with this slidey bullshit? God damn you.
see the sliding in this game, it makes it so much more difficult than it needs to be. We go up to the fucking helipad again. Alright, if I can't get it this time, then I'm not even gonna bother. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna save it in here so that I can load back in here and just get it. That makes sense. It saves me time as well. So if I just I can just keep loading that back in here. I thought it was in here. Oh no, it's in my office. Oh, come on now. And I can just kind of run, run back up to the thing. I'll make as much progress as I want it to make. This this fucking thing keeps killing me. Thunder. Thunder! Wow, wow. Get this off. Oh, damn it. To charge this. Yeah, I'll recognize the building when I get to it because it's pretty recognizable. It's very rare that you get a swimming pill on the goddamn roof. Oh, there's one on that one. I think I've not done that. Wait, did I even get to that roof? Did I even review that? I think that might have been the one that I just left behind because I thought it was just a copy and paste. Oh no, this is that one. There was an actual there was a pool in it. This is the one that I put down because Alright, this is definitely putting this building score back up. Like, god damn, there's a nice little pill here. Oh, is that supposed to be a door? <laughs> is that supposed to be a door? Look at that tiny little thing. How is anyone supposed to... Is this a midgets hotel? No, even. Is this like a little... This is like a, a hotel for fucking bees. Like, you can't... There's no even any wire. Okay, yeah, no. This is not that good, actually. <laughs> Screw that. This is a hotel for hobbits. Okay, yeah, we're going to this one. Can I believe I died here? Because this is so easy to land compared to that one. It's just invisible walls. Yeah, okay. We got it that time. So there's technically a pill, but look how small this is. His head doesn't even fit in the goddamn thing. Tiny. There's no actual water either. It's just like a blue... Sheet. 
trying to pretend to be a pull with me? No. Nega points. That gets like a 6.9 there. No matter how good the, the... No matter how well I liked it before, not anymore. Like this is just the same building. Yeah. I'm not even going to bother. It's the same copy paste. If they're just copy paste, I'm not even going to bother. This is a copy paste as well. It makes my life easier. Well actually there's a little patio bit. Oh no, this is a different building. Okay, this building, here we go. Another Moonlight, there's, that's the third Moonlight as well. They don't even bother to change the name of it. Okay, so this may actually be a hotel with a cafe on it, or this might just be a big ass cafe altogether. Hey mate, what are you doing? It's one, it's one muscly man right now. But this building looks really slick. I mean, we've got two levels here of the coffee. It looks really nice. Also, the the blue design with these kind of waterish looking kind of things are probably glow at night as well. These look slick. These are very well designed. Very beautiful to look at. The kind of circular shape that just kind of very symmetrical and beautiful. Also, I love the different dynamics of it being on the same level, but behind each other, it looks very nice. It's very nice. Also, the little curtains at the top of the windows, very nice. So, if you're going for coffee, you just come up here, you sit down, drink beer. Even though it's a coffee shop, that doesn't make sense, but... You come in here, that's where you get your coffee. How do I get up in this bit? I mean, get out of my way here, I'll shoot you. Fine. Alright. Maybe I'll I'll jump on this. I know you can't even land on it. It's not a it's not a solid surface. This is day from here. Yeah, but you get some chairs up there. Come on, don't be a twat. You got some chairs up there, very nice, and then you got a door back there. You got some nice little windows there. Very good, actually. Very good. Very nice. Quite a chill place to relax with your friends. Let's see the back and the sides. The some windows there. We got these weird little shiny windows that are also right there as well. Front page cafe. So this must be like a hotel with a cafe involved. Ooh, this is different. So we've got a bunch of pipes and wires and plugs here. They kind of go into the ground. But we've also got a back entrance. I'm guessing this is just gonna be like. It's gonna be like having all the electricity parts in it. So this is probably just an electrical back thing for the like basement or something. Very locked up here. But we've got multiple different doors into the back of this. We've got one, two, three, four. We've got four different separate doors into the back of the building. This is not symmetrical. There's one window there and no other ones on that side. That's kind of weird. Uh, but other than that, this is very good. I'll give it a solid eight. I think we should review the review the the the, the roof first. This might have a a pull on it as well. Uh, love the blue and white mix. Then have giant umbrellas. The building is nice. Yeah, this building is very very nice. Very nice to look at as well. The very nice colors. Also, I love the symmetrical but kind of different. Like it's not on the same plane, but it's still symmetrical. Very pretty. Also, the cafes are very nice to look at. Let's see the roof though. I'm thinking an 8 on this one. If the roof isn't too ugly. There's a bunch of pipes at the back of the building. I'm gonna lower it, but at least it's heading away. Oh shit. Okay. Not much to see up here. But I do like this design. It's just a solid. Yeah, this is solid. I like this design where it kind of goes in this triangular shape. Just a very pleasant building to look at. Also, I love the different cavy levels. Very nice place to hang out. It's a solid 8 out of 10. Let's see the next building. What is this building? Ooh, this is a big building. Oh, this is the overview! Okay, 
Now we're getting into the good stuff because now I can review the outside, the roof, and also the interior of the building. So this one's probably going to take a little longer than usual, but it's also going to be super fun. So this one is super big, like, there's definitely buildings on this street that is taller, but this is probably the widest hotel on the entire street. There's another Deacon Hotel, honest to god, with the copy and paste here. So this is the Ocean View. I love... Let me get my sniper out. I love these little, um edges here. It gives such a nice little touch. Also all of the lime green aesthetic of this building. The, the building is such a nice colour. It's not quite green. It's not quite blue. It's kind of got this limey kind of colour. Um, also I love the shapes here where it's kind of like a rectangle and then a kind of diamond shape. It's very pretty. Minor details that make it look nice and beautiful. We've got this kind of colour which I'm not quite sure I like. It's kind of ugly to be honest. It's kind of this brownish, orangish kind of colour. We do have nice little plants here, which this is the first I think. I don't think any other hotel has had these. Nice little plants growing at the side. We've got benches, which is nice if you want to have a seat. Kind of look at the beach. Did you know they changed the names of some some of the builders and the remaster and some models including the new names. Not sure why, but for example, the the one Ocean View is called something. Else. Why would they name? Because it's called Ocean View in GTA 6 as well. It's so iconic. Like, why would they change the name? Why would they change the name of the Ocean View? It, first of all, it's a really cool name. And as of Ocean View, it literally stares at the ocean. It's a sick name, it doesn't need change, and it's iconic to the game because it's your first save point in the game. So I don't I don't understand why they would change it. I get it if they want to change like Deacon Hotel or something, that's kinda alright, but it's such an iconic part of the game, honestly. Oh, a cop is fighting this guy. Let's we'll see who wins. I'm I'm kinda voting for him. Fuck the place, you know what I mean? I want this guy to win. I would shoot him, but then I get two stars. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, he's back up again. Is he going for another punch or is... No. <laughs> They've settled it. They've settled the debt. Oh, he's got he's got some cake on him as well. Yeah, I don't know why they would change the view, uh, change the name of this, since it's an iconic part of the game. Honestly, the remaster sucks. I hate the remaster. Uh, but, yeah, that's kind of... This colour scheme is sort of ugly, I wish it was kind of lime green like the rest. Then it would be nicer. Like if this was the same colour as this, I think it would look nicer overall. Let's say I get the sides. Let's see what the sides are looking like. Don't know, they made a few changes, maybe because in real life something bad is there, who knows. I do think there is a hotel that they used in this game that got... That got, um deconstructed or whatever, like they tore the building down. So, I'm not sure. I think it'll still appear in GTA 6 though. Unless they just remove it. Because it's still in development, so maybe they'll do that. But it appeared in the GTA 6 trailer, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so we've got two windows on each side, so... One, two, three, four, five. We've got six there, we've got another set of two windows. Again, I don't like this colour very much. The white parts in it as well, it's so ugly looking. Not a big fan of this. This kind of brings the building down a notch. Ooh, this is weird. So we've got little steps here. Big pole. Then we've got this kind of back. Kind of looks like a chain. A chained door. Probably to get into the electrical back view of the... Basically the control panel of the hotel. So we've got this. We've got some fences here. We've got a baseball bat for some reason. I'm not switching out my base, my katana for that. Oh, I'm not a fan of this. There should be like some stairs that lead up there. I was gonna complain about no ventilation, but there's there's two over there and there's one there. That's nice. Oh, also I've never seen this. We've got an electrical kind of box here, which is very pleasant. Connects all the wires. That's nice. I like that a lot. Maybe the place. 
place of success in real life and they want to see advisors friendly. Who knows, but it's dumb. Yeah. So we got ventilation, very nice. We'll give a roof review and then we'll go in the interior. I swear to god this plate this helicopter was never red before. Not crazy. This was not red. Let's see what the roof is like. I've never actually seen the roof of this. Quite curious. Oh, there's like three different roofs. We'll go on the big main one. Oh, there's actually four different roofs. So we've got a roof. We got the big main roof. Then we got these little kind of sections here. Then we got even littler sections, and then a a back bit right here. Uh, let's see what this looks like. So we got the hotel residence here. What kind of view do they get? Ah, that's not a very good view, honestly. Uh, but at least if they want to escape their window, they can come out here for a smoke or something, even though it's probably n not within the rules of the building, but... Let's see uh, back here. So we got this this roof up here. Honestly, no ventilation up here. Uh, that's definitely a minus point. So let's, let's do an interior view, and this will be the first. Since no other building so far has let me in it. Go to the front. But a lot of roofs, a lot of details. It's these details that make this game so good. Like just the exterior and design of this building is really nice. Like very pleasant to look at, especially over in this area. Not over in this area, but this area is very nice. Also, I love that little. That little pillar bit at the top that's looking good. Well, let's let's do an interior view. <coughs> all right. First of all, we've got very shiny um, floors here. Very the cleaner of this hotel should get a raise because this is shiny as hell. I can even see the reflection. Very nice. Having a reflection in a game like this, how old it is, is actually quite impressive, actually. Like, you can see the reflection of that? That's actually quite impressive. Uh, there's, there seems to be like a light here, but there's no light at the roof, so that's weird. Oh, I found a picture of the change. They called it... Clevelander? What the fuck? Is this the boys or something? Because that is the hotel in real life, but I prefer the ocean view. Yeah, why would they name it after the hotel in real life? Isn't the whole point of GTA games that it's a satire of real life? Like, there's a building in GTA 4 as well, like a hotel, and it's like <laughs> it's called like Get a Life and everything. Like, that's funny. Like, why would they call it Clevelander if that's the real name of the hotel? Like, the whole point of a GTA game is that it's a different universe to real life, and it's a satire. Oh, it just turned night time in here. Well, that changes the environment completely. Yeah, I looked at it, it's definitely not as good. So that's lame, actually. Ocean view is way better. So we've got nice couches here, a nice place to sit your arse when you're, you're waiting in uh, the queue or whatever for the person that does not work here because there is no staff at this hotel. Where's the goddamn staff? He's in that room and he's just eating donuts in there somewhere. We've got a nice little cube here that actually seems to actually have holes in it. We've got a little uh, book for the clients of the or the guests. Also, I love this. I love this plant here because uh, it's multicolored as well. Here, let me get my sniper. It's got nice little colors it's like orange and green. Got some blues in there, very tropical, very jungly. We've also got some nice lights at the top, makes it feel like a party. But this is the real meat here. We've got these beautiful kind of diner places. But if you see carefully, we've got some. This is the de this is the detail of this game that makes it so amazing. Is that we've got we've even got some forks and knives and spoons here. We've got a little tissue. We've got we've got a cigarette and a cigar. <laughs> Is that a candle or a drink? I think that's a candle, and you can even see like the little light in it. That's amazing. Like the detail is fantastic, man. 
We've got some shakers of salt and pepper here. Got some drinks in the middle, very cubey. <laughs> very PS2 cube. <laughs> uh, we've got, um, I'm guessing that's either a candle or a, a, it's a glass. But we've got a glass of wine here. Let's see if there's actually anything in that. Well, I can check it from here. Let's check this. No, there's nothing in there, but it has a nice glow from the outside. And we've even got a lamp here, and there's there's nothing in these cups, and it even connects to the the desk, so that's a little bit of a minus. Yeah, but the detail is astonishing for the time period of this. I'm pretty sure these are all pretty much copy and paste as well, but great detail on these desks. This looks like a nice comfy spot to be. We've got some elevators here, very nice, very nice. I don't see the buttons, but that's alright. So you can even see the view while you're having your lunch of the the ocean and my helicopter. <laughs> the fact that you can actually see my helicopter out there is pretty cool. We've got some like little blinds here. Very like Chinese-esque design with that. Got a little staff room in the back. Let's go up the stairs. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this. It kind of looks like a prison cell. <laughs> this very nice carpet though. The carpet's quite nice. But let's see my room, because I don't know if you know this, but you actually have a room. And this room is actually sick. So let's do this interior. First of all, let's see the windows here. You've even got the curtains. They even make noise. Did you hear that? They actually make sounds. That's sick. But you've got these blinds that are halfway open. That actually go into the street. You can look a bit... This room is very quirky, very like, it's very out there, very kind of campy looking, but if that's your style then it's going to be nice. We've got a fish tank here. Oh, uh, with a little tower here. It kind of looks like Seattle. kind of looks like the tower in Seattle. Made out of sand, I think. We've got some kind of cube thing. Look at that. Is. Oh, treasure chest. We've got a treasure chest here. Then we got some kind of, some kind of mountain shape. This kind of reminds me of San Andreas. <laughs> Just give me the San Andreas vibes. Uh, we've got a little drink bar section here. This is kind of childish though. Like this. This reminds me of something that fucking, I don't know, Mr. Tumble would have. Like what is the design of this? This looks so... Looks like something that Mr. Craft would have or something like that. I don't know. Whatever his name, whatever his name is. Also, what the fuck are these? What in the actual fuck is this thing? I, I have no idea. But you got some nice drinks here. Um, I don't like the sh I don't like the chairs. The chairs are quite. That does not look comfortable to sit on. That does not look comfortable to sit on whatsoever. So yeah, I'm gonna have to retract some points for that. Also, I'm also gonna have to retract some points for this because we've got the TV over here, but then we've got the couches and the chairs over here. How am I supposed to watch the TV here? Am I supposed to sit here and then just twist my neck to watch the TV? Or even sit on this couch and then just twist my neck here? I guess you can lie down on the couch and lie like that, but that's extremely uncomfortable. Also, why is there a fucking guy on the TV? Shooter of the month. <laughs> Shooter of the month. He's got a hole in his head. I like that. I bet nobody's ever... See, this is the thing, these jokes that are just hidden away that probably nobody's ever found before. Sure, I, bet, I doubt anyone's ever found this. Just like, some joke that nobody would have found, but that's actually fucking hilarious, I like that. In the 80s, some things had very random mix of colours. For example, people might wear contrasting and conflicting neon colour. Coloured clothes, bright pinks, pants, blue shoes, and black hats. Just things that didn't match. Yeah, yeah, true. That's true, yeah. That shirt of the month is one of the trophies you get after you finish the game. Oh, is it? I didn't even know that. That's a nice nod to the end of the game, since this is basically the start of the game. That's like a nice nod to, like, the ending. The hotel is filled with them, depending on what you did. Oh, that's pretty fucking sick. Also, I like this wardrobe. I've got some clothes ready. I don't know what this is. Does it even say anything? No, that is unintelligible, but the, the closet's quite nice. 
But yeah. If this is how hotels looked in the 80s, this is just wacky as hell, man. Absolutely wacky as hell. Like, look at this dinner table with this weird kind of red design here. Also, we've got some kind of magazine. What is that? What is that? Oh, we've got the we've got the heist mask. We've got the we've got the mask from the heist here. That's sick. I wonder if that was always there or if it unlocked it when we did. It. Oh, there's the Voorhees guy. That's literally the the Voorhees guy, man of the 1986. Or is that is that sex? Yeah, that's crime. I'm guessing that's like a wanted poster or something. E R S E nineteen eighty six C best ever graphics. Don't know what the fuck that is. We've got a nice little planet here as well. The eighties were wacky if hotels look like this. We've got a nice poster here. Let's see. Let's see this. Where's my? There it is. Yeah. Let's <laughs> see what you mean about the contrast and clothes. This guy's wearing the most tackiest trousers I've ever seen. Those are trophies too, the mace and the magazines. Oh, are they? See, this isn't something that I would have never have thought. So sick. But this seems to be pretty unintelligible. Uh, the bed is quite nice. I like the bed. It's, it's very low to the ground. But it looks like it would be... Wait, I, want, I don't want my normal clothes. I like the clothes I was wearing. God damn it. I like the... I like how low to the ground it is. Looks like it would actually be quite comfy. The pillows look a bit stiff though. I do not like this. I do not like this kind of childish design of this. That's quite horrible. That's minus the points. If you did a party job, there should be a bag with a suit hanging on your dress. The party job? Is this it? I'm not sure if that's what you mean. We've got a lamp here. Vice City via Lee Harvest South, Southampton. I don't know what that is. I don't even know what this is. To do. Oh, it's like a boat. It's like Titanic or some shit. So yeah, the, I don't like the floor either. The floor looks so rough. Made out of marble. This hotel does look like it would be expensive. I would give the interior of this hotel about a 7. There's some really interesting stuff, some really wacky stuff. Also some quite ugly stuff like this. Like that. Uh, so yeah, a 7. Not quite up there. But also, there's no fucking door. It's just like a wide, a wide open chasm for everyone to fucking go in. That bed is kind of small though. <laughs> True, honestly. Especially for Tommy. Actually, I think it might be good for his size. Yeah, like, if he lied down, he would fit on that. Hello. So I'll give it a 7. That, that seems to be a bit f a fair. Um... Hello. Where's, the, where's the exit? Okay, it's over here. But I'm going to give the overall building a, a review. Hopefully my helicopter didn't despawn. What, didn't he? Uh, um, I'm gonna give the overall, ooh, nice, nice little glow as well. I'm gonna give the overall hotel, oh, I love these lights that shine down as well. I'm gonna give it an overall, I'm gonna give it a 9 because you can actually go inside it. That is a definitely, that's a, a, a definite plus, like a mega plus to this hotel. Especially all the little details, like you said, all the trophies to the game. Alright, so it's this one. This is just the Deacon Hotel. It's a copy and paste. So I'm not even going to bother with that one. I'll check out the roof. Because sometimes the roofs are a bit different. We're almost done with this whole ocean view. Like, um, beach side area. So we're almost done with that. But look at all the city I've got to go. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to do this one. It'll take me like a month <laughs> to be able to do this shit. Alright, come on. Let's check out the roof. Oh, there's a pool there as well. Yeah, I don't I don't think that, yeah. This, this building's boring. Boring building. But there's a pool on this building. I'm, 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 I'm intrigued. Oh, god damn you, man. Okay. 
Oh, this is that building again. Yeah, we've already done that. It's the same name and everything, so... Copy-paste. This is also a copy-paste. I don't think... I think this is unique. I don't think I've ever seen this before. This looks quite nice, actually. It looks quite... French. It's quite European. So first, of, yeah, it looks quite European for American. First of all, you got these nice little steps here. What you say to me? You should watch your fucking attitude, mate. I'll teach you. Were there any interesting areas you could not go before, but you could show like an island that is unlocked or some hard to reach place? Do you mean with the helicopter? Well, I don't think so. This game is quite limited. Like, if you just look at the map, like, I'd say maybe these areas are the hardest to get to, but there's also roads to them. So not, not really. I'd say the hard, uh, the, the, maybe like some of the dock stuff, like it might unlock me to get on a boat or something. Or even, I, I'd say maybe the airport, because you can't get in the airport. You can probably get in the airport with a helicopter. Right, come on. It's doing the thing where it's not letting me turn my camera. Come on, game. Don't do this to me. What is that? Was that on or off? I don't know. Fuck. Come on, let me turn my fucking camera! I hate this game. There we go. Damn it. Oh, okay, sometimes after you finish, the, finish a game, you can visit places that were locked before. Well, it's like that with this game, but it's like properties. You know what I mean? Like, you can visit, like, the inside of property, but that's basically when you unlock it. Uh, but this building looks quite nice. Like, the steps, there isn't any benches though, which is a minus. But it's very detailed, like, this might be one of the most detailed buildings on the street. You've got these nice little curvature. That even, that hasn't even, like, the ones I've seen before, like, they are see-through, but this one is an actual, like, yeah, I, I, I move away when I jump in it, so that's an actual solid environment there. You've also kind of got these little, I'm guessing, buzzers, so I'm guessing this is like an apartment. This isn't like a hotel, this is like an apartment complex or something. Uh, so you got like little buzzers buzzing up, you got these little cube things, whatever the fuck these are. You got these little cube things, you got little buzzers in there. You got nice um glass doors in your way. Oh, someone got knocked out. Timmy's sat here for a while, you see the people just beating each other up. Also, this is extremely detailed, like you've got a window here. You've got these nice brown bits. They actually look nice. Usually the brownish colours look quite ugly, but this one looks quite nice. I don't like this though, that's like a bit of dark. There's like a bit of dark on the on the end of these. I don't like that, there's like decaying. Like the building's decaying, look at it. It's decaying up there, there's rust and shit. I don't like that. Let's see the back of the building. Oh my god, that's terrible. <laughs> that's fucking terrible, there's literally nothing, there's not a single window. There's not a single ventilation. There's literally just nothing. That's that's a terrible back. End of that. There's not a single ventilation in this. Let's check the roof though. Maybe there's some vents on the roof. If there's not a vent on the roof, I'm gonna have to give it a five. Give me an ID. Give you an ID? How about go fuck yourself? Tommy's like thirty-five, mate. What you want a bit? My helicopter's smoking a bit. Yeah, it's literally the most blank roof I've ever seen. Okay, 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10 for that one. It had nice details here and there, but it's kind of rusting away. And there's no ventilation. That's a copy and paste, so... Ooh, this one looks nice. There's a, there's a swimming pool. Okay, first of all, we need to kind of notice this a bit. That there's like a nice little courtyard here. I think this is... Part of this building though. 
But um, here we've got the, what's the spelling called? We've got the Parsons. Parsons? That's alright, that's a... It's quite a lame name actually. And it's actually, it's off center with the Bedlin. And it's even off center with the door, like it should be a little more to the sides. That's a, that's a minus point. But I do like, I like these little windows that, po that point out and wrap all the way around the building. Gives it a nice little pointy um, exterior design instead of just a cube. I like these little kind of lamp shades here. Give it even more of a pointy design. But I think the roof is where this building's going to shine. But let's go around the back and see what's... Oh, we've got a little plug here. That's a that's a plus, but we don't have we don't have any ventilation so far. Maybe on the roof, I don't think there is. Also, nice little bushes at the back. What the fuck is this open area? Nice little bushes at the back, but other than that, there's not not too much shining on this building. It's a nice kind of pinky color. Not any ventilations, which is uh, gonna put it down a bit. We do have a pool. But it's like a crappy, like, not really a pool though. Like, you see, it's like, like, look at this! I've never even noticed this before. Like, this is supposed to be a door, and this is supposed to be the pool. This is, and it's like this tiny little door. <laughs> look at that! Look at that! You have to be a hobbit to get through that. And then this crappy, like, quote unquote pool. Yeah. This this is a main this is a six. Six out of ten. You know what? I'm giving this building a, a three. I'm giving it a three out of ten. Terrible building. Terrible, awful building. Let's move to the next one. Three out of ten for that one. Oh shit. Now this is a weird one. Beach patrol head ooh, beach patrol headquarters. So we have something other than a hotel on it. You got these kind of like bolt esque looking windows here. Kind of going for that sea shanty feel. I've only got two windows at the back though. So. Very slim, very small building, but. Hey, at least I'm head tall with the fucking door this time. And it makes itself clear of what the building's purpose is. Let's see if I can see any. It's got a little bench right here, that's a plus. Get in my way, mate. Oh, fuck off. See if it has any vents um, on the top. Did I look at the back? I'm pretty sure I did. Pretty sure I looked at the back. Let's see if it's got any vents on the roof. Nope. It's a quite. It's quite small. It's quite uneventful. Quite bland. It does have a nice little uniqueness compared to the other buildings in terms of what it does and to, in terms of what it looks like. I'll give it a 6. I think that's a fair score. It's quite uneventful, but it is quite unique. As soon as we're done with this beach place, I think I'm going to move on to either the taller buildings, like the bigger buildings, or a house or something. Um. Okay, so this is called the Alberta. That's a cool name. That's probably the coolest name, I think. We've got some like nice little circular, like, I don't know, probably like lights or something that glow up in the night. It's got a nice little entrance here. Again, the windows look weird, it's just palm trees. Um, we've got no windows at the side, that's a minus. That's a takeaway point. We've got a back entrance, that's weird. That's our first back end. Oh, what's this? I'm a shame. Finding all sorts of stuff by doing this. But we've also got a back entrance, which is odd. Um, but no no windows on that side. Let's see this other side. Yep, none. Let's give it a rough review. Give our final score. Here. I think I might move on to that big building at the back after after this one. After this one we're pretty much done with this beach side. We've reviewed every building here. Let's see what the roof is like.
Have I, have I dropped it? No! Okay, I will say that there's like nice little balconies here which brings it up a bit. I like the balconies and I've lost my fucking helicopter. We'll review this last one and then I'll go for my helicopter and move on. I'm loving this building, actually. You know, I think I'm, I I need to get my helicopter. This building needs a roof of you. It's just so unique that I can't possibly do this without getting it on the roof. Okay, we need to get a car. How am I gonna get home? For convenience, I would just rather just do it with it going on the roof, but it's so unique that there's probably something cool on it, so... Let's go get a helicopter. Right, I'm gonna do a big building after that one. Don't know how I didn't get stars on me for that. This little area would be good to review as well since there's a lot of houses. Quite unique houses as well. Mansions and shit. And it takes this place off and it's also close to the helipad so... It's quite convenient. I have not played San Andreas uh, so long. I, I wonder if, it's, if there's interest in places. There's definitely. Like, doing this game is def- if you're talking about me doing that with San Andreas and like the locations and different buildings and stuff, this is already difficult as is. Like, look, this, this is a tiny little map, but there's so many buildings. San Andreas is like twice the size of that and you're not even counting buildings that are like in the desert. You're not even counting buildings from different- there's like three separate cities. There's Los Santos. There's San Friero, there's Las, there's literally Las Vegas, LA, and fucking San Francisco in one game, so that would be impossible, man. That would probably take you like a full month to do that. Also, I've not played San Andreas in a while either. Uh, I probably played it like 2022 maybe, or 2023. I think I finished it like early 2023, which wasn't all that long ago, I suppose, but it feels long ago. I think I'm going to play it this December. Like, no on stream or anything, I'm just going to play it on my PS2. Come on, let me move my fucking thing. Come on. Maybe after the that little house on the beach side, we should do these mansions. Or maybe a bigger, I'll do a bigger building and then I'll go to the mansions because it's going to be... I played it maybe a year after it came out and it was so damn good but I have not played it. So you've not played it since like 2005. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. You have not played that, that game in over like 19 years. <laughs> <laughs> You've not played San Andreas in 19 goddamn years, mate. I can't even move my goddamn fucking guy, like, so annoying. There we go. <laughs> Forget about it, Mario. You must have been playing it on those little, those little cube TVs as well. Like I played San Andreas when I was wee, but when I was wee, it was like I must have played it like six or seven. But that by that time, it was probably like two thousand eight, two 
2009. So I was playing San Andreas then. I also played like the Incredibles game and all that. <laughs> I even I even played like Chicken Little a little bit, I think, as well. There's a few this nostalgic PS2 games. I think I played Vice City as well, but I played it like once. Like I, I think I, I stole that uh, an ambulance. I drove that a bit, and then I never picked it up again. Yeah, we had a big CRT T, CRT TV. That fast TV took up space <laughs> for a whole person. Yeah, those those uh, big chunky like grey ones with like the little dots in them and all that. You'll never see TVs like that anymore. Honest to God. But they, they were even kicking about in the early 2010s as well. Still. It's mainly when the... When technology started to get better, those TVs started to get booted. But the screen probably been, would have been so small in it. Because it, it, it wasn't even the size of the cube. It was like a big cube thing. And then it's like... The little red, and then the screen is like kind of like oval shape. So <laughs> you must have been playing it on like the tiniest little thing as well. All right, let's. No, no, no. Rough review last. All right. First of all, we got these nice little cartons where are actually solid and not see through. Nice. Let's see. Mason, windfall. Very nice fancy name for this place. The windows are kind of dingy a bit though. Like, I'm not no big fan of the windows. Cool, oh no man, those TVs were giant if you wanted to buy a big one. Ours was about 2 feet by 2 feet. TVs were gigantic, it, it just depended on how much money you had. True. <laughs> Uh, we, you've got nice little patio, little place to drink some beer, some coffee, anything they sell in this place. This place is called the Mason Wenfall, very fancy looking. We've got some, these are probably the nicest doors I've seen so far. Very nice burgundy kind of brown. Uh, it's kind of weird though because you've got a handle right there but you haven't got a handle here. That's kind of weird. But you've got the bars here. Actually, the windows are quite nice. They're kind of like this brownie, tinty, kind of cosy feel. But I like these little curtain things, or whatever they're called, all the way through. Also, I love the balconies. So good. I think this is a hotel. This has to be a hotel, right? It's like a Hotel X, like, dinner restaurant place. But you've got these balconies that keep going up. Let's go around the side. Let's go around the side, see what's done here. Okay, we've got ventilation, we've got two ventilation. Finally, man, a fucking building with some ventilation so your goddamn customers can breathe. You've got this little red thing at which you can just walk through. Which I'm guessing this is emergencies kind of for like fire trucks and shit. But you got this kind of like, I'm guessing like a parking space for like the the workers in this place. Not any, not any um, windows or anything though. Let's get to the front and go to the roof. I'm excited for this one. I'm excited for this one. Well, let's see what this roof is like. See, we got these balconies here. Quite nice, quite fancy. See if this was a real city, like if this was real, I would I'd wanna stay in this hotel. Oh we even got like a little complex up here. We got probably the high suite. This is probably the guy with the most money. We've even got bars around the around the top. Even got like little bars uh, for the balcony, so you can probably open the window, have a nice that's a nice view as well. You, you come out here, you you take away the curtains, you open the glass doors up, you got a nice view of the ocean, you got a nice view of this little building here. Little building, that's giant, fucking giant, probably a hotel as well. You got a nice view of the palm trees and some civilians. 
and a gorgeous view of the water some boats passing by so great view from this side you got also got a view from this side which is quite great as well you even got the the fucking thing there it's kind of obscured by some trees but still great this is probably the weakest view yeah th this view isn't very good let's get some buildings let's put that but yeah this is definitely probably my th other than the overview this is the best building in, in this uh on the street i'm giving this a building a 10 out of 10 i mean this is a 10 out of 10 building 10 out of 10 the beautiful beautiful views of the sea and the ocean you've got pretty windows and you've even got a rail there you've got beautiful balconies and little curtain things that hang down you've got like a little patio outside and a restaurant 10 out of 10 Right, sure. Every I don't think I'll be able to get to the top of it. This is what I hate about this game as well: is that it doesn't let you fly that high. You can't even get on the buildings. Oh, wait, I actually can. Nice. All right, we're gonna have to review it from the bottom though first. So this is our first mega building. Yeah. So this is probably gonna take a while because of how massive it is. Yeah, there's even a pool here. Let's start there then. Let's just leave our helicopter by the pool. Oh, oh my god. No! Get out! Get out the fucking... God damn it. God damn it. Fuck off with this. I keep losing my fucking helicopter. I need that to get on the roof. God fucking damn it. Can I even use it? Can I use it? Am I stuck in here? Am I just stuck in the goddamn thing? Yeah, I, I saved it in the thing, so... I just saved it in my place, so... We're going back for a helicopter and then coming. God damn it! Honest to Christ, thank god I evacuated quickly. God, imagine when we have to review this building. This this one's fucking massive. Even just like the grass and the the back garden, it'll take for fucking ever. I hate that woman. Just get the sniper. The sniper is the main one. Really. So I'm gonna land it by the pill again. Hopefully, I do this a little better this time. Can I, can I even see it from here? Not really. Get that off. Not that I don't like the music, but I wanna kind of I wanna upload this later as a video. Oh, it's raining. Terrible. Is this it right here? No, I don't think that's it. It's over this way. It's hard to miss. I think this is it here. Okay, let's land it by the pool again. It's the trees that fucked me up. Let's get it from the other side, actually. There we go. We'll, we'll, we'll be good here. wonder if I can land it inside the pool. Oh my god, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, fuck me. Okay, that's a terrible place to land. That's an absolutely terrible place to land because the trees keep fucking me up. But we'll start with the pool. So first of all, we've got we've got nice little pattern right here. Keep you from slipping. Actually, I think these are very slippy, so. But we got nice little lights to glow up in the dark, which is four in the morning in the game, so. You can have a little nice, nice step in the pool at night. Um, you've also got a nice view while you're sitting in the pool, like, just sitting in the pool. you got a nice view of the building if you just lean against here. It's not very deep though, it's kind of just like a kiddie pool. You can maybe do some, you can maybe force yourself to swim if you try your best, but it's very, very thin, not very deep. I'll give this pool like a, a 5, it's a 5, it's a nice shape. 
It's many of the views that are nice. Also, the sounds of the the cars aren't very pleasant. So the pull isn't very isn't anything special. Also, these windows are unique. Actually, these are these are different windows. First of all, we can see the inside. We can see there's a light at the top there. This kind of looks creepy. I think that's somebody at the window. There's a cunt just staring at me at the window. But probably some cunts. This is probably the restaurant section of this building. So we're gonna have to circle all the way around. So we go around here. We've got this nice little blue outline that goes all the way around, followed by this kind of ledge that goes all the way. And there's also a roof kind of ledge up there. And there's also plants. There's also plants all the way around the roof that makes it look extra pretty. I like that a lot. That's a big plus. We've got this little garden place out here. Nice little grassy view for when you're eating your meal in there. Kind of the same glass kind of lights all around. Also we got some nice balconies. We got some nice balconies on for the residents and guests of this hotel all the way up this part. There isn't any balconies on these windows though but there is on these. Probably some richer guests stay here. Got a nice hedge here as well. Very nice pretty whites. No too, too many darts. There's no shite anywhere. No dirty places. Very nice. Except there's there's these little bits right here that kinda kinda ruin it. Maybe that's actual shite actually. I mean, that's just like somebody just wiped their shite on the wall. That's a minus. Uh kinda small entrance for how large this building is, but we've got nice little stairs here, kinda pinkish. Uh it actually minus points because there should be some benches out here for people they just want to sit down. You've got nice little doors here, about four of them to get your way inside. Someone, loser. We have a murder outside the residency. We have a murder. I don't know who did it, but someone did it. So we got this nice blue, kind of darkish blue ledge that goes all the way around, very pretty, with this light blue thing underneath. Give it a really nice contrast. So yeah, that's the outline of the building. Very pretty, pretty pristine. Other than these little bits around here, which I don't like. Other than that, it's very nice. Also, I love the little trees that wrap around the uh, outline of that. Let's go on the little ledge bit first. Can I make our way around this little ledge bit? Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm alive! Okay, yeah, I'm not even gonna bother. Okay, I'm never landing in that area ever again. That's terrible. Those those trees keep killing me. Wait, no, I hate when I do this and then it fucks that up. So annoying. Okay. So we're gonna... So we're gonna land on that little ledge and then review that little bit and then we're going up to the roof. Will be very exciting. I wonder if we can go up to those little pike bits as well, but I don't think so. So, in. and then we're then I'm gonna do this little area here because it's right next to the helipad, and there's tons of mansions around here. So. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go. Back to the goddamn thing. I think that's it right there. No, it isn't. It's more over this way. There it is. Going faster.
That's a nice little building, that little red one as well. But we can land on this bit. Nice, smooth landing. Okay. So first of all, I love how this goes all the way out here. Surrounded by palm trees as well. Very pleasant to look at, very nice. Very pretty. Actually, I think that connects... She just say money, money, money. Connects to this building as well. Very pretty, very pretty. Also, I love, I love, I love the the little plant palm trees up here as well. It makes it so much prettier. Actually, you'll get this a solid, so I won't fall through it. We've just got a little bit of the ropes are in here. Some more trees. Also, we got get a better view of the... the I'm guessing this is the, the high society rooms. The more expensive rooms, which have the balconies. They get this, especially from this angle, they get a great view here. Especially if you're higher up on the, the top floors, it's kind of just wraps around. You've got this little edge here, but there's a bit of papers everywhere. But other than that, something pretty, pretty nice. I don't know what the hell this is. What happened to this? This windy? Oh, we got this little stain shit here. I don't know what happened to the windy, but other than that, it's pretty good. So that just wraps around. Now we go to the roof. Very nice, very slick. Not too much to see, but it's very satisfying to look at. Which is all you need because you're never going to walk on that area, so... Ooh. I wonder if I can get in that little bit. Okay. So we got this roof here, which is... um. If I can get a little bit of an angle on it without falling. It's got this little tiny... It's got two little mini bits right down there. Which gives it a really nice design. It's also got these curvature little roof bits which looks so slick and nice. You've got these round circle rooms that look actually kind of cool actually. But honestly if you're on this side you're not getting the best view here. You're just getting a view of another person in another room. But honestly, if you're on this side, you're getting the best view of probably the entire Vice City. You just get this view of this massive ocean here. I didn't even realise how far that land stretch is it. What even is that? So I'm here in that stretch. It must be the beach. Yeah, that one, it must just be the beach, right? Come on, let me turn my goddamn heat. Come on. Oh, I hate when this happens. There we go. So you're not getting the best view from up here. Is there a little creaker? No, that's solidly in place there. Let's try and see if I can get in the little... Let's see if I can get on the big roof. I don't think so, though. I think it will cut me off. Yeah, cuts me off like right here. Let's see if I can get in. Oh shit. This is actually quite a risky one. Try and do. I don't think it's worth Yeah, it's not worth it. Basically the same thing. So I'll give that actually, it looks so good. The building is so good, so I'm giving that like a 9.5 out of 10. I would love to stay at this if this was real. It looks very nice. I love the circular shape of these. I love the sledge that goes around the whole building. Very pleasant building to look at. Let's go back to the... Let's go back to Tommy's residency. And kind of review the mansions. In that area. Honestly, this would take me so long to do every building. It would just take so long, even on the first but on the first island alone. Honestly, God, I might have to do multiple fucking bars. Here, right, let's let's land somewhere safe. Just land in the front bit.
Actually, we'll do to Tori's build and last since I'm more familiar with that. Let's do some of these little outliers first. We'll do this guy. Let's park in your little front porch bit. See these goddamn trees? First of all, we come in this main entrance. It's a very nice gravelly ground here. I don't know why there's people just walking in here constantly. But it's a very slick, nice uh, gravelly ground here. Everything looks so pristine and clean and it looks very nice. But you come in here, you've got big space here. you got big giant space to drive. You've, you can probably park multiple cars in here. Uh, also, you've just got... Cool. I don't even know why they added this, honestly. I don't even know why they put the effort of putting this detail in of having a garage here. But there's a garage that's open. You've got a nice car here. He's got a nice car. He probably could afford a better one than that. He's also got a wash machine. He's got a wash machine out here for some reason. It's also tiny. It's absolutely... I guess it's, it's actually relative to how the size I'm are, to be fair. Uh, but he's got a wash machine out here for some reason, even though it's not plugged into anything. He's got a few boxes. Very stony in here, but nice. He's also got a little basketball hoop if he wants to play some basketball. Um, he's got this little place, which um, if he had kids, he could put maybe the garage. It's for a quest, maybe, actually, yeah. I don't think there's ever a mission in this place. I don't think there's a mission in here. I don't. Oh, actually, there is. Aye, 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 aye. Because this is where you come with the boat, I think. Or it's one of these, anyway. No, it isn't it this one? It isn't this one? It may be the one over there, but it isn't this one. So I don't know what the purpose of this is. But you've got a nice. Uh, you could do it with a swing set or something in this, but a nice patch of grass here. Big ass palm tree. But he's got a big American flag, clearly a proud American here. Okay, I'll, I'll say my prayer, fucking bitch. How about you say your fucking prayer? Fucking bitch, fucking kill you. Try to reveal your history. How are you alive? Oh shit! That was an accident. Forget me. Brave send. You forgot, you didn't see anything. Okay, first of all. This house is so sick. I love how it goes up and up each level as you go across. You've got this nice green door. Oh, there's a thing in here. You've got this nice green door. I don't know why people add this. Like, in real life, I don't know why people do this. Like, I constantly see, like, especially rich people, they will have this little, like, interior bit where it's, like, all wallpapered up and there's even, like, a... They even put, like, a fucking... Like a, 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 what do they call it? Like a desk or whatever to keep shit in. Like I don't know why they even leave their shoes out here and everything. I don't know why rich people do this shit. Um, because I could just walk up and nick everything. But they've got a nice green door here. American flag. You've got a nice little balcony window from the, from the main, I'm guessing the main bedroom. You've even got like a slight of it showing. You've got the curtains down a little bit. I'm going to kill you if you don't go away. You've got these big round windows. Very, very nice design here. I like these, this design of this. Very rich, very posh. Uh, you've got this, again, very posh designs here. You've even got some little plants that are attaching itself to the building. Again, you've got these very beautiful windows here with this nice frame pole here that goes up. Honestly, I'm not sure how I feel about that one. It's kind of sticking out and not so good of a way. you got this kind of, probably an attic up here, I'm guessing. Or it'd probably be up there if it was. Maybe like a stairway um, window. But you got a nice little bush here to separate the windows. You've got a nice um, kind of boat area to park your vehicle boat. Also, probably a great place to have some barbecues, get a good view of the city, get a good view of the the other city and this side of the city. Also, you got a nice view of the bridge over here and the golf course. You've got some benches, personal benches if you want to set about the place. 
Also, you can just have a wander, kind of chill over here if you want to. I have to get to bed. <laughs> have a great evening. But I'm feeling asleep in my chair. See you next time. Cheers. Have a good sleep. Um, you've got this area here. I'm probably just gonna end it soon anyway. I was gonna do this whole neighborhood and then just end it. You've got this over here. I'm gonna try and get to the other side. Did I get to that other side there? I'm gonna wrap around the building. You got another pipe there. Ah, uh, how the fuck did I get in there? This actually might be another set. No, it's the same building. Got a little. Oh, I'm kind of climbing it. There we go. You've got multiple little balcony places over here. I like that. It looks nice. It looks slick. Let's get in the helicopter and get to the get to the fucking roof. No, I do not want trouble. Please. Okay, let's get to the roof. It's all designed, so... It's all connected, so I can just land it wherever. I thought they would be lower and higher, but they're actually kind of just all connected to each other. Do not slide off. Is my helicopter going to slide off the fucking roof? Okay, so we got this nice little bit of the roof here. There's no chimney, though. Hey chimney, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Got this. They're all kind of separate kind of levels, but all connecting. It looks very fancy, very nice. So, yeah. I'll give this um, an easy 8. An easy 8 out of 10. There's nothing dirty about this house. It's all kind of slick. Nice place to live, I suppose. Got a good view of the ocean, and I'm fucked. Get the fuck out. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Take that. They're all dead. <laughs> oh my god. It's a fucking massacre. It's a fu oh. Why are you punching me, you fucking bitch? You little bitch. It's not my fault they blew up. Alright. Alright. You own Cleveland. That's like the most unaccomplished thing you could ever say. You should be embarrassed to own Cleveland. Place is like a dump, mate. Nothing there. Hey, get away. Ow, you bastard. Alright, I'm gonna load it back in. Streaming for two hours still. I thought I was streaming longer than that, honestly. Tommy, man, you're gonna love it. Right, get to the roof. I think I'll do one mare belt and then I'll leave it there. Mr. V. Alright, what building should we go for next? Let's just go for this one since it seems to be the easiest. It's quite small. Try and not touch the trees here. This is a perfect place to land. Okay, again we've got the basketball hoop right there. Kind of an awkward place to put that to be honest. We've got a swimming pool in here. I'm pretty sure that this the last one didn't have a swimming pool. Ooh, we've even got like a little shakuzi place. So we've got a little shakuzi right here. Uh, we've got some sunbathing little beds. That's nice. Mm, with some palm trees around. We got the main pool, which is quite big actually, and it's deeper than the one at the last hotel. That oh, was it. So this is actually deeper than most of them. It's actually getting to my shoulders. Uh, that's a good pool. I'll give that pool like a seven. 
Actually, I'll give that pill like an 8.5 since it's got the little jacuzzi and the sun beds as well. Okay. The garage isn't open in this one, but there's, a, there's also got a little um, satellite right there. It's the first time I've seen one of those. We've got the outline here, we've got some pillars, very nice. We've got a bench here. Stairs that go into the main entrance of the house. Some really nice little circular windows. Again, I don't know what that white stuff is that's in the window. We've got sort of an empty um, side view here. Nothing too fancy here. We've got a view of the, the other side of the road. Again, there's no fucking windows in the back either. It's definitely a minus. Definitely a minus. Alright, let's go to the roof. And the balcony, because there's also a balcony. You got a satellite there. Dump it, dump it, dump it, dump it. Dump it. Hell yeah. Bye bye, helicopter. Got that, okay. Shit, where the fuck is it even went? Oh, I just saw the fucking door coming off. But here we got the we got the big roof here. This is a big fucking roof. We've also got a massive chimney. Yeah, there's actually no holes in it though. That's a minus. We got a little out out room here. Is there any windows here? Yep, we got a window there. So nice roof. Let's review the balcony. Oh. Minus, min you're 5 out of 10, God's sake, 5 out of 10, terrible house, can't even go in the fucking balcony. Alright, I'm going to make a massacre. Oh, that was a police guy. Well, he's dead, so. The massacre of Vice City, 1986. No one saw it coming. No one ever saw it coming. Can you not run me over? Twenty police officers murdered. Mass shooting. We're always right, I right, man. Hopefully these guys blow up. Damn, you're a terrible shot. Can you come on? Oh well. Alright, I had my fun. I'm gonna leave it there. Obviously didn't get to every building, but you know what? I did pretty well. Got the first few oceans. Got an even skyscraper as well, so. 